Hi everyone, it's now May so I'm just going to run you through my April favourites. April was a really horrible month um, in the UK, it basically pissed it down for four weeks straight. I'm going on holiday in two weeks to Mallorca so I'm crossing my fingers it's going to be sunny because I feel like a naked mole rat or something that's not seen the sun for its entire life. So moving on to my April favourites, um, I'm going to start off with face stuff first. This is my new favourite face wash, it's by Avene, which is a French um, pharmacy brand and it's the Extremely Gentle Cleanser No Rinse Tissue Off Formula for sensitive and irritated skin. I'd seen a couple of um, reviews on this that said it was good for dry skin and I hate the tight feeling that you get um, after you've used some face washes and this is fantastic. Um, it says it's a tissue off formula but um, I rinse it off because I use cotton pads to take off my makeup anyway. So I don't want to create, you know, too much waste. Um, just because I've been taking my slap off. So this is really, really fantastic. Um, I've been using the Bioderma to um, take my makeup off and then wash my face with this. It's totally clean afterwards. My skin feels softer. Um, I just really, really like it. I'll definitely be repurchasing it. It's the best face wash I've ever used. Um, afterwards it just doesn't feel like I've put anything on my skin at all which is fabulous so um, if you do have sensitive skin I would recommend it um, and if you've got dry skin as well it's been uh, really really good for that um, as well for dry skin I picked up the MAC Prep and Prime Moisture Infusion um, and it's from oh, I can't remember what the collection's called but it's like a little capsule collection and it was this and a sort of gel primer in a compact case which I'm quite interested in as well for my kit just because it looks weird so I might go and check that out again. Um, I went into MAC and basically the guy talked me into buying this. Um, he said it was great for dry skin so I was like oh because I've sort of been on a bit of a mission to sort my face out um, recently um, and he said it was basically a moisturising primer. Um, when I got it I was so confused when I tried it out because it doesn't feel like any primer I've tried at all. I don't know if you can see but um, it's very liquid for a primer and it doesn't have that velvety feeling that most primers do even though there are lots of sort of silicas in the ingredients so it's really quite strange and I was quite confused at first as you know to whether it was supposed to be a primer or whether it's just supposed to be like a serum because it feels like a serum um, but it is a hybrid of both um, and I really really like it um, again like I just said I have been on a bit of a mission to make my skin feel softer and sort my dry skin out so I'm not totally sure if it's this or this or the combination of all the other stuff that I'm using at the moment um, but I really like it, it does uh, help my makeup last a bit longer as well and it's full of loads of good goody goody goodness, hang on I disappeared, yeah it's got loads of stuff in it like coconut oil, pomegranate um, grape seed extract, rosemary, I don't know what all these things are supposed to do but sounds good to me. Um, it is really expensive at £28 um, and when I took it to the I was like but um, I would yeah I'd purchase it again I really like it. Also from MAC this is what I went in to pick up when I bought the ridiculously expensive primer. Um, I was really excited for the Trade Cheek collection um, but there was only actually one that I ended up liking. I wanted to go in and get Immortal Flower and possibly Pink Tea but I ended up coming back with Modern Mandarin. It's definitely the nicest of the collection. It's a satin finish and I don't think I've got any other MAC blushes that are a satin finish and it looks really bright orange um, when you swatch it or in the pan but on the skin it sort of um, translates to more coral and it's got a really lovely sheen to it it's so pretty, especially with a gold highlighter um, or a peachy highlighter and it's just fantastic. I don't have a blush that's quite that orangey so this is really unique in my collection and if you were thinking of checking out um, the Trey Sheet collection then go and give that one a look even if you think it's a bit of an odd colour because it's not like any swatches that I've seen online anyway. Um, moving on to lips, I got a really gorgeous package um, from Wendy at the start of the month with loads of nail polish and lipsticks in. Um, I really love Wet n Wild lipsticks but obviously you can't get them in the UK so whenever she sends them to me I'm really really happy. Um, this is from the Mega Last line and it's in Purty Persimmon 
and it is a matte um, red orange colour and I love orange reds um, so there it is it, it is very uh, very orange orange red um, it's quite similar to So Showed from MAC so that's the Wet n Wild and that's the MAC they're not an exact dupe the Wet n Wild is more orange but if you're looking for that sort of um, bright orange red colour um, in a matte formula and you don't want to pay for the matte then see if you can pick this up because it's fantastic I really like the Mega Last formulas um, they don't last as long as other matte lipsticks do on me um, and they're not quite as drying but um, you know they last really well um, yeah I really like them for the price they're amazing they're really good quality so I've been wearing that tons this month and my other favourite lipstick um, I got loads of Wet n Wild lipsticks from Wendy, but I could just go on and on about them. My other favourite lipstick that I've got this month is Test by Illamasqua. Now, I only just got this a few days ago, but I'm so in love with it. It's like a pinky brown, rosy kind of colour, and it's matte again. And I know a lot of people can look at this and go, oh my god, that's so 90s, it's disgusting. But I don't care. I love this sort of colour. Um, there it is there. It's so beautiful. I um, first heard of test when I wanted to find out what the lipstick on the um, Sophie Eye campaign for Illamasqua was and somebody managed to find out for me that it was test so I picked this up on a deal that Illamasqua had on their website where you buy this and a sheer lip gloss for £22 and I think you save about 7 quid or something so it's a pretty good deal. Um, I'm just so in love with it and I've bought some lipsticks from Illamasqua as well with the formula is been not so good and the formula of this is really nice it is still very dry um obviously it's a matte but it is drier than some mattes are so just be wary of that um if you did want to check it out but you know i still find it comfortable to wear um i think the thing with the with the good illamasqua mattes is that they still go on matte as opposed to something like a mac matte where it goes on creamy and then dries down that's the difference um with the good ones anyway the bad ones are just you know, not so good. But yeah, I'm I'm in love with this and I'm even, you know, having visions of it as my wedding lipstick already, so um let's move on to eyes. Um I am in love with these bad boys. These are the colour tattoos by Maybelline. I'm sure everybody's heard of them and sick people Yeah, bring on about them by now, but they're really, really fantastic. My favourite one, um, in Bad to the Bronze, which Wendy sent me, I can't find anywhere. Um, but I've been using it tons since I got it. I used it on three photo shoots in a row when I had to do natural makeup on people and I just love the formula of them. Great price, absolutely fantastic products. If you just need to quickly leave the house then I will just put one of these on um, with no primer like I did today. And just a little bit of colour in the crease and you know that tends to last me around six or eight hours and I think putting a little bit of something in the crease as well just you know helps set it a little bit. And you know, stop it from going crazy, crazy. So if you've not tried these out yet, I really, really recommend them. They're kind of a foolproof product. Um, and I'm so glad Maybelline brought them out. And just because I have them here, um, this is what the American one looks like, and this is what the English ones look like. So you know, the packaging is pretty much the same. They've both got the silver sticker on the bottom, and the jars are just a slightly different shape these are a little bit more chunky with the lid for the american ones but yeah other than that and some of the names i don't think there's really that much difference um continuing with eye stuff and really oldie but goodie um a little quad that i've been using a lot this is from elf and it's the day to night quad i bought a ton of these quads from elf um when they had one of their sales a long time ago and I've given them all away to my mum and my sister because I bought some Inglot neutral palettes and I didn't really use them anymore. But you couldn't part me with this one for, I don't know, for more money than it's worth probably. Um, the gold in it is absolutely fantastic. I'm wearing it as a highlight now but you probably can't really see it. It's just gorgeous. I've never found a colour that's comparable to it. And it's just the perfect shimmer. There's nothing... I've got nothing negative to say about it at all. It's so soft. The pigmentation is good. It's really smooth. 
um it's just gorgeous it doesn't show up on camera you've got to see it to believe it and the taupe from it as well is absolutely gorgeous the aubergine and the grey colours they're a little bit harder than the other two and the pigmentation isn't as great but if you're just sort of darkening the inner corner then they still work really well um but yeah the gold and the taupe taupe i don't know that colour is absolutely fantastic um, I really like these little quads and if you're shopping with us they're £1.50 so you should probably pick one up just saying um, I've got I bought bleh, I bought a ton of eyelashes um, this month I normally get my eyelash, eyelashes from Savers um, which is like a discount drugstore over here um, because they have loads of discount ones and I picked up these ones from Paris Hilton we don't like you um but look at them they're gorgeous they're really long spiky looking lashes um you know and the individual ones sort of flare out so you almost look crisscrossed and for some reason these ones that were in savers ugh, you get two and they were three pound each so they're not the same oh yes they are um yeah so i picked up one of every one that they had um I, the fuller, heavier lashes I don't always go for day to day. Um, when I'm wearing false lashes, I go for these wispier kind of ones. Um, and I've been wearing these a ton this month. Wendy also sent them to me. They are from the Salon Perfect range and they are 105s. So, yeah, really long, wispy, really thin lash band. So, they're really easy and comfortable to wear. Um, and, you know, I don't have. Um, dark hair or lots of lashes naturally so if I just want a little bit more oomph then I tend to go for that if I'm going for a super dramatic look that's when I'll go for the crazy Paris Hilton type lashes uh, last but not least on the beauty front Wendy like I said always also sent me loads of nail polish and these two are my favourite ones that she sent this one I have on now and it's Whimsical by Revlon it's a dupe for Deborah Lippmann glitter in the air I think I'm sure that's what it is as you can see in the bottle it's blue but it comes out very sheer on the nail but I absolutely love it because the polish itself is sheer um, when you layer it you can see all the glitter in the layers and it's really really cool I don't have another polish that's quite like that and you know it is whimsical and magical and pretty so yeah I like that one and it was so hard to find here in England so thank you Andy for sending me that because I never saw it in the store once not all Another uh, polish that you can't get in the UK. I don't think you can get this here at all. This is Let Me See Your Peacock by um, Icing. Um, Katy Perry inspired, I believe. And it's just a clear base with fuchsia, um, green and blue hexagonal glitter in. And over black it looks... Over black it looks amazing. I really, really love this polish. Um, and I've worn it a couple of times. Um... I mean, I wore it and I reapplied it. I didn't wear it separately. I haven't had them for that long. But um, I can see myself wearing this a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so that's all my beauty favourites. Um, I'm For a non-beauty favourite, it's got to be my amazing ear cuff thing. Um, I got this on eBay for about two quid. And it's so cool. It's got spikes on. It makes a noise and my hair gets tangled in it. And so on and also on my kindle i've been reading i don't know why i'm showing this there it is um i've been reading um a song of ice and fire finally um all my friends are massive geeks so whenever they whenever anything sort of comes trendy uh like this like it does i've got to read it otherwise um i've got nothing to talk about with any of them and i'm really really enjoying it um the second book i've just finished now and I find it, found it quite hard to get through just because it's so bloody long um, but if you like books where the chapters are sort of divided into different characters um, then definitely give it a go it's really really interesting um, I know who I'm rooting for to sort of win king of the world already um, so yeah um, thanks for listening to my rambling um, check out our channel if you liked my rambling because we're all on here and we ramble Thanks for watching guys, bye!